Hello and welcome. Quality Function Deployment, or QFD, is a systematic approach for transforming customer requirements into technical requirements for meeting those needs. This approach defines quality function in the broadest sense as including all aspects of an organization for meeting customer demands. It's typically used in planning, design, and development projects. QFD is used in operational excellence efforts such as Design for Six Sigma or DFSS projects. It also plays an important supporting role in lean product development and agile development efforts. QFD doesn't aim to replace an organization's product development process. Instead, it helps to integrate customer requirements into how we design and deliver products and services. QFD can encompass the entire scope from concept development, detailed design, engineering specification, technical requirements, process planning, quality control, and more. QFD follows a step-by-step -step process. We organize and analyze the information we gather using a matrix called the House of Quality. This provides a visual representation of the relationship between customer requirements and the technical features of a product, helping teams prioritize and focus on what matters most to the customer. The process begins by collecting customer requirements, often termed VOC or the voice of the customer. These requirements can come from various sources such as direct customer interviews, surveys, focus groups, or other feedback mechanisms. Then we translate the voice of the customer requirements into specific product or service features, functions, or characteristics. This ensures that the product or service is designed based on what the customer wants. After we've completed the top-level matrix or house of quality, we deploy our findings to the next level to address the critical items. These items progress from the product definition at level one to designing systems and components of the product at level two. Then we develop production process characteristics and requirements at level three. In some cases, QFD may progress to more detailed levels to define process controls. The technical requirements from the higher level or the hows are deployed to the lower level to become the whats. In other words, the level one technical requirements act as the voice of the internal customer requirements for the level two design activity. This transfer of the higher level how to the lower level what happens at each stage of deployment. Quality function deployment is not a one-time activity, but intended to be an iterative process. As the product design evolves, we revisit the QFD matrices and update them to ensure that we remain aligned with customer requirements. There are five main benefits to incorporating QFD into our product development process. First, the QFD process emphasizes customer centricity as the starting point. The translation of voice of the customer requirements across design levels helps to ensure that the product or service is designed with the customer in mind. Second, QFD takes a cross-functional approach. This helps in breaking down silos between different departments. As a result, all areas or departments can align towards the common goal of fulfilling customer requirements. Third, QFD provides structure, discipline, and documentation to product development. We use the house of quality and additional matrices to guide the process, structure our thinking, show our logic, record our decisions, and sign our name in agreement. This clarifies expectation, improves communication, and promotes learning. In addition, the QFD format often meets requirements for documenting traceability that our external customers or regulatory agencies may have. Fourth, the use of a disciplined process for visualizing and ranking customer needs, requirements, and capabilities simplifies decision-making. This also contributes to reduced overall development time. Fifth, as a result of focusing on critical customer requirements and improving interdepartmental communication, QFD leads to cost savings. We achieve this by shifting to a more proactive development approach. This allows us to avoid miscommunication, avoid underdesigning process capabilities, and avoid designing features that customers don't value. As a result, we can use less time, energy, money, and other resources to develop and launch products and services. In essence, QFD ensures that customer needs and wants are at the forefront of our decision-making processes from product design to production, and even to post-sales service. That wraps up our review of QFD or quality function deployment. We'll see you soon.